Hi everyone, I'm Alicia with the Doherty Dozen. And this is my 5 a.m. morning routine where I prep breakfast, lunch, and sometimes dinner for my 12 kids. But first, coffee. Today is Tuesday, the day after 4th of July. We stay up way too late, as you can tell by my voice, <laughs> but it was fun. It was worth it. I'm going to make banana bread this morning. This is my mom's banana bread recipe, still written out <laughs> by my mom on this mangled up recipe card. I should probably laminate that. It's like an heirloom now, right? Okay, I am going to make three loaves of bread, which might end up being four, depending on, you know, how much batter I get with the two little pans together. together. So that requires a stick of Crisco. And this is in my recipes playlist. It should say almost banana bread, I think. That's my mom. All right, a stick of Crisco. I'm gonna use six bananas. Um, I usually let them get a little more brown than this, but these will do. My kids swam. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what time they got done swimming. It was so late. Josh was swimming with them. Probably 11? Not all of them, the teenagers. Teenagers swam late. Okay. And I'm going to do, okay, math in my head. Uh, one, two, three, four and a half cups of flour. So I'm tripling my mom's recipe. Uh, one and a half cups of sugar. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Got my new Pampered Chef measuring stuff since the kids took my last batch of stuff. I placed an order on a party. So now I have new measuring cups. It's pretty exciting when you're 41. All right, uh, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda and then three teaspoons of baking powder.
That is what your batter will look like, kind of like a mashed potato consistency. always there for me. All right, great pan. So I think I'm going to need a fourth pan. I don't know yet. No, I probably will not. These pans are pretty big loaf pans. Cook this for 45 minutes at 375. Alexa, set a timer for 45 minutes. because it's Tuesday and kids are back at camps and actually there's no football this week but if I'm making lunches for some of the kids I'm just making them for all of the kids of July. I know I said it was gonna. I didn't get to that. It's the 4th of July is absolutely insane here because it's mine and Josh's wedding anniversary. So we're trying to like spend time together but we're also trying to like give our kids like a fun carefree happy 4th of July memories. So it's always like this major balancing act on the 4th of July. I think we did pretty good. I just didn't get to vlogging it. <laughs> but I will have New York City prep vlogs every single day this week. <laughs> because that is what my life is this week. Prepping for New York City for 14 plus my parents, 16 people. picture outfits um so we gotta unbox those today see i mean 
I guess there's no point in ironing them before I put them in suitcase. I'll have to iron them there. Do, do hotel rooms still have irons? They should, right? I don't know why I just shut that. Okay. So I'm gonna make 12 sandwiches. Oh my gosh, if you watched my shopping vlog, I bought Lunchables for the plane ride. No, Bodhi has ate like half of those. I'm gonna have to get more. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. That for the chickens. Dixie got spayed on Thursday. She's doing good. She does have a cone head though. Yeah, I think the kids had fun last night. We did some little rinky dink fireworks here at home. We used to like go out to the big fireworks shows, but I just reversed Patrick and Deshaun again. Why do I keep doing that? Um, but it's just so hard to get this crowd out to like fireworks and then like half of them are miserable and they're getting bit by bugs. And honestly, they're just happier here watching Fireworks, Josh sets off in the backyard while catching fireflies. I think Jason hit a firefly catching record every single night. He's like trying to beat his record of how many fireflies he can catch. I think he caught like 27. I'll have to ask him. He tells me every single time he catches one. He comes up to the deck and tells me, I got another one. I now have 15. It's so cute. Dash and Jordan are always right by him, telling him where they are. There's one, there's one. Okay. Ham. <clears throat> I forgot Zoe's ham. I need to put mayonnaise on that. Whoopsies. So he's got horseback riding camp and a few of the kids have summer fun camp. No activities tonight. We're on break from horseback riding. Therapy for Brie. They do like a week off in between sessions. Where's the jelly? Whoa. That was almost a disaster. Did you see that leg catch? Who do I got? I got Brie, Jelly, I got Dash, the Twins Fluff today, I wonder if my kids will sleep in today. Probably not, right? <laughs> Even though they stayed up super late, they will probably not sleep. But you never know. Miracles happen. 
Harley's not up yet. That's shocking. She stayed up until nine. And she's like, can I finally go to bed? <laughs> so actually she went to bed at the perfect time because then we did sparklers. So she didn't do sparklers. Probably a good thing. That's empty. That Bodhi sandwich. Boop. Um, we've got the hairdresser coming today, Jessica. She'll she's gonna re dye Nevaeh's hair because Nevaeh didn't listen to us when we both told her. You can't swim with this hair dye in. It will ruin it. Bought Nevaeh's swim caps, everything. It's ruined. She went swimming. So Cheska's gonna fix her hair for New York City and give some of the kids haircuts. And then I've got the barber coming on Thursday to do the rest of the haircuts. Still gotta get to the laundromat. I'm waiting until probably Wednesday to go. Um, just cause then everything will be washed before the trip to New York. I don't have to come home to a big pile of dirty laundry, even though I will anyways, I didn't think that through. I mean, the pile of dirty laundry from New York will be enough. Actually, yeah, I'll go tomorrow and I'll do all the kids' linens too. Sheets and blankets and I'll do a big wash day. I should vlog that. People don't believe me how much the laundromat costs. <laughs> like, have you been to a laundromat lately? Why are you not going in? There we go. Patrick. All right, these are always in age order. Deshaun. Oh, I know why these bags are not open all the way. So when I packed up the food from yesterday, oh my gosh, there's got jelly all over this. Uh, I put the leftover veggies in bags for their lunches today. So those are all set. Then it'll be a quick lunch packing session and then we just gotta wait for the bread to cook. Make some sausage, cut up some berries. We're doing walking tacos for dinner. Everybody keeps asking us to do those. It's where you put the taco meat and the toppings right in a little bag of chips. So we're doing that. I'll make the ground beef later. I just jinxed myself. <laughs> What's back lunches? I 
also need to wash their lunch boxes. Which I was gonna do this weekend, but I did not get to the laundromat. I am pretty sure Zoe has left both lunch boxes at camp, so she gets the default Minecraft lunch box. You lose your lunch box, you get the Minecraft lunch box. <laughs> Again. Spoon. Okay, yogurt. I keep mixing up Patrick and Deshaun. All right, drinks. I got Breeze apple juice, water for Bodie. He does not want a juice box. He told me that many times. Juice box. Short. Cause I get pretty juice bags. Applesauce, fruit cups. No. I got a fruit cup for James. James. Nah. I was right the first second time. Oh my gosh. should have gone to bed earlier. <laughs> uh, oh no, yeah, fruit cup. Who did I give a fruit cup to? Oh, I don't know, whatever. Oh, Jason will do applesauce, okay. So I got the ranch dipping cups for their veggie stuff. Their veggies are Carrots, celery, cauliflower, and carrots. And these are their prepackaged veggies. Not 
vlog. I did, however, get some really funny videos that I will post today. To shorts. their new lunch boxes for next year um, Aunt Kiki's putting their names on them Good. No, Harley doesn't like sausage patties, but I'm gonna use these up. She likes the sausage links. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. I'll just make all of these. which has holes in it so the water drains out. Cut off the top from my cutting board.
move those to the chickens. a lot lately if my teenagers can go back for seconds and yes they can and do not so much with breakfast they're not really like huge breakfast eaters try and like run through the day in my head while I have a second of my own thoughts. We're pretty well cleaned up from the 4th of July. So that's good. I stayed up and did that last night. I didn't want to wake up to a mess. Um, yeah. Tuesday. I don't know if Nana and Papa are coming today. They didn't tell me. They may or may not come. I don't know. They usually come over on Tuesdays. But sometimes Nana has doctor's appointments, so they don't come. And work on New York City unboxing and packing. People were wondering in my comments why I buy toiletries like just for trips. And we have to be out the door at 5.30 in the morning with 14 people, it's a really hard to get 12 kids out the door anywhere. And um, I don't wanna be scrambling around like trying to find, where's your toothbrush? Where's your deodorant? So I just buy a set of travel ones every summer and then we use them for all our trips. So Ocean City packing will be so easy 
because I'll just come home from New York and everything, like their toiletries will be packed. I have fruit flies because of those bananas. Their toiletries will already be packed. And I'll just wash the clothes and repack them. And then we'll turn around and go to Ocean City. Well, it'll be the next month, a couple weeks after. is done let's check the bread If you're baking bread and you want to know if it's done, you take a toothpick, stick it in the middle. If it comes out clean, it's done. If it still has batter on it, it's not done. Just gonna check this other loaf too. Yeah, that one's not quite done. That one's like a little bit bigger. All right, that one can go back in, but this one can be served. I love when there's like a chunk of banana in the piece. will be excited. Banana bread is his favorite. Actually, all of my kids like banana bread. Except for at one point, I had been making it too much and then my kids get sick of it and they're like, ah, not banana bread. But I haven't made it in a while, so they'll be excited. picky about not wanting the end of the bread or do they not care my kids don't care but I remember as a kid like I didn't want the end I don't know well that worked out perfectly and then I have that other loaf finishing up if they want seconds my piece got a little burned Loaf. Where's my tongs? Uh, give them some sausage.
put some butter on their banana bread. That will melt right in because it's still hot. Seriously, I don't even know what to do. It's so quiet here. Maybe my kids need to swim until 11 o'clock at night more often. All right, breakfast and lunch are done. Thank you for joining me this morning. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I am so proud of you. I'll see you next time.